So, as Alan has just explained, integration is the opposite of differentiation. So, we already knew some relationships between the kinematic variables based on differential calculus. For example, we knew the velocity was the differential of position with respect to time, and we knew that acceleration was the differential of velocity with respect to time. So, we can actually run these relationships in reverse, and we can say that the position is the integral of the velocity with respect to time. And we can say that the velocity is the integral of the acceleration with respect to time. However, let's just stop and think about this for a second. Let's suppose that we were given the velocity of an object. So we were told exactly how fast it was moving as a function of time. And that's the only information we had. In this particular case, we should be able to take all the little bits of velocity and add that up over time and figure out how far the object has moved, figure out the total displacement. But we run into a problem if we want to know the position of the object right now. If we don't actually know where the object started, we don't actually have enough information to figure out the position of that object. So in order to find the position by integrating the velocity, we need some extra information. We need to know where the object started. So let's suppose that our velocity was equal to time squared, as an example. If we integrate that with respect to t to find the position, we would get the following. Now when you integrate this, you get a family of solutions. And so the family of solutions in this particular case would be 1 third t cubed plus c. There's some variable c here. That c is essentially dependent on our starting position. If we started at the position x equals 1, then in this particular case c would be equal to 1. If we started at position x equals 2, then c would be 2. So this variable here, in order to eliminate it, we need to have some extra information about the starting conditions of our problem. So, the other key relationship that we can have here is we can have a look at this. The acceleration is the differential of the velocity, and so that means that we can actually go the other way and say that the velocity is equal to the integral of the acceleration over time, but we need to know the initial velocity in order to be able to say what the velocity will be as a function of time. Otherwise, we can only know how the velocity has changed. But unless we have that initial velocity, we're unable to get rid of this plus c factor at the end of our integration.